again, everyone, as usual, I'm Buff Button. Today we are back with another episode of The Sims 4 Season 2. Uh, so last episode, I don't actually entirely remember. Oh, yeah! Yeah, we got um, uh, Dean and Evie to uh, uh, start dating, finally. Um, we lit up the pool area. Since it's now spring, people can do stuff. Oh. Oops. I forgot to move the gnomes back. <laughs> My bad. Uh, hello? There we go. There we go. Why is this here? That's weird. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, so we got uh, Dean to uh, finally ask Evie out. Um, I don't know what we did with the girls, if anything. Um, I think that's mainly it. I think. I don't know. Um, additionally, while starting up the game today, uh, something very interesting happened. I didn't mean to press that. I got a notification that uh, a new update has been added, and I found out that our neighbors. Oh, okay. Our neighbors can now um, uh, get new jobs, have kids, and die from accidents all on their own. So you know how sometimes we would be prompted by someone like, Hey, I was thinking that I should probably have a child with so-and-so. Or, I was thinking if I should pursue my dream job. Should I do it? Type thing. Now, apparently they can do those things without us, you know, even doing anything. So that's going to be interesting. Getting uh, random notifications about, Oh, your friend has died in a car accident. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be interesting. Uh, but anyway, let's let's get everything going. Ugh. I don't know what's going on with him. Oh, wait, what? Chad is finding it difficult to process his negative emotions in a healthy manner. Feelings of anger or sadness quickly become overwhelming and always result in an overdramatic emotional meltdown. Oh no. Oh no! They said sadness? Is that right? Becoming very sad or very angry. Ah! Oh no. That's not good. This is all because someone random died! God dang it! Oh, frick. I didn't mean to press that. Oh, no. Wait, when did you get here? Oh, he's confident now. Okay. Um... Okay. Here. You should come to the bathroom. And then... Push the limits. Yes. Do that. Sure. Okay. And then... What are you doing, Dean? You are currently doing your homework. Then you have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Oh god, no, 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 no. Go to the bathroom. Okay. Yeah, you need to go to the bathroom before you piss yourself, man. And then you can come watch TV. Okay, there we go. And you are running, that's good. Hey, he's not sad anymore. He is hungry, though. Oh, wrong person. No, you're still sad. Okay. That's a shame. What was that? Excruciatingly fatigued from working out. Okay. Not a big deal. Go to work feeling confident. Okay. Uh, practice speaking in the mirror. Okay, so that's how we can do that. When do you work next? 11 hours. Okay. Let me 
in that one. Play in the rain. Chat with someone. Let's not play in the rain. Donate to a charity for only 25. Meh. Upload a video. No, thank you. Buy a toy. No, thank you. Do some cooking. He's not really going to do any cooking. You know what? Screw it. I, I'm, I'm not going to bother. Okay, where is... Oh, you're, you're watching TV. That's right. Okay. What the frick are you doing, child? You do, you're voluntarily doing extra credit. All right. You know what? You do you. I don't even care. When is your birthday? Oh! Their birthday is tomorrow! Oh! I didn't realize that! Alright! Oh god. We're gonna have three teenagers in the house. Oh god, no! Oh no! Trying to think. So, I'm starting to think that we should probably do something like we did with season one, where we made a basement room thing for uh, some of our people. Because. What the heck? No. Because. Wrong freaking buttons. No! Oh my god! I cannot press the buttons. Because... There it is. These two are going to need separate rooms for when they start dating. Uh, his room is already tiny. So I'm kind of thinking that we might have to change that up somehow. Um, but... Unless we get rid of this room and move one of the girls into this room, maybe. But then where would we put those? No, no, no. Where would we put those things? Not put that there because there's a door right here, I bet. Maybe because it's a window? I don't know. <sighs> Maybe the pictures? Hmm. we do I'm thinking maybe we could throw all these into um, uh, storage that way we don't just get rid of them um, cuz there's not really anywhere in the house to put another like uh, to, to put like a basement you know cuz like where would we put it? The best I can really think of is maybe like in the corner here leading down. Or like over in this corner leading down. But it wouldn't look that great, you know? That's pretty cool. Uh, this is awful. I would put it under the stairs here. But I don't think you can put them under the stairs. So 
cameo, I wonder? Let me save the game real quick. Okay. Now let me go down a level. And then I guess make some walls? Or make a whole room? Yeah, let's just start with that, I guess. No. Okay. No. Oh my god! Okay. I keep pressing all the wrong buttons. Now if I go down... How do you even add stairs going down? Maybe the room doesn't go over far enough? should definitely be enough to test it. Okay. So if I were to put them there, for example, they are right outside here. Okay, so... Where they are right now, let's go over like two, and then over here, maybe? No, I cannot put them there. Yeah, objects cannot intersect with stairs. So technically, these stairs are in the way. Okay, so move over one, two, three, four tiles, maybe. One, two, three, four, and then over one, like that. And now there's just a random hole here. Can I... Can't move that because then that'll intersect with those stairs. Hmm. Actually, here. Um no, not half wall bins. How do I do a half wall? Half wall, there we go. That's not half wall. Wait. No? Okay. Let's try it this way. A little bit shorter. Um, I kind of like that. Okay, 
now we do have this extra little thing right here. Do we want to do anything with that? Or do we maybe want to move the steps in one? I'm thinking moving the steps in one would possibly be a good idea. Also, what does that look like up here exactly? For some reason, that just feels weird and wrong. It's the walls, maybe? Well, where... Where the frick did our treadmill go? And Abby's bed, what the frick? What? Huh? Let's put Abby's birth certificate back up. Huh? I'm so confused. Okay. That's a little bit better, I guess. Um Okay, so I don't know, I'm just I still feel kinda odd about these stairs, you know? Like put them right there maybe. That way it fills in that gap at least. Now it just looks weird with the stair ends not lining up. Can I like extend it? What the what the frick? Wait. Can I do that? No. Oh, dang it. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so you cannot do that, it seems. Oh, no. Ugh, that sucks. I just want to try and extend the uh, stairs here. And I can't even do that. I think that might have to be it for that. Alright, so what kind of room do we want for down here then? <laughs> do you think I could put a wall right up next to the swimming pool here? And I put a. Can I actually put a window here? my god look at that <laughs> oh that is hilarious i'm not actually gonna do that though oh that is absolutely hilarious okay um what all are we gonna put in the basement? I'm thinking we can move the uh, video station down there, the workout stuff down there. 
We could probably move the computer into this room. What kind of style should we go with down there though? I am not a builder. I might just try and steal this style from up here. Actually, now that I'm thinking of it, this style here kind of reminds me of my grandparents' house. Not terribly so, but in just the fact that it feels nice and cozy. My grandparents have a really nice cozy basement. And maybe I'll try and style it after their basement a little bit? I pressed the wrong button again. Okay. Uh, so... First things first, let's move the wall as close as we can. Okay, so right there. That's where we'll put that wall. We can move that wall out that way. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, frick. Now I've done it. Okay, there we go. Just make sure it doesn't touch. All right, and then we'll move this out there as well. Interesting. I don't know, something about it still just doesn't feel right, you know? that. Let's extend it over here, I guess. And then let's put another wall in right here. That's a full wall. Good. All right. Wait, what? Action not- what do you mean action not possible here? There we go. Alright. Then maybe I'll build another wall right here. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four. Maybe we could do multiple stages of half walls? Too low. Say I like that one right there, maybe. That one right there. Down right there. Wait, what? Extremely enormous half wall. That's, uh, weird. Maybe I just need a normal wall right there? Okay. So if that's the normal wall, then we should probably change up the uh, other walls. Oh boy, that's not good. Okay, so... We have three that we need to do. Oh, what in the world? I'm thinking maybe the next one. Yeah, so that one there. That one there, and then maybe this one here? Dang it. Alright. 
Let's just do that. That's still a little bit too much. That feels better. Okay, yeah, I actually like that one. Okay, that, that looks a lot better then. Okay. And then... Once it gets over here... Yep. Just let me move, thank you. <clears throat> I'm thinking once it gets over here, we will expand the rest of the room. So we will have, can I, okay, good. I'm thinking maybe like right about here, we can expand it. There we go. And then we can knock down this wall. There we go. Awesome. And I'm sure we can expand this later on as well, so that's good. So let's come up above. And get these super subtle lights. See if I can move those over. Just like that. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So now for the wallpaper. Uh, I don't want drywall. I want something a bit more textured, but, you know, not as, I guess, textured, if that makes any sense. Plaster, maybe? Plaster doesn't look right. These colors feel too bland. Actually, that one looks great. Look at that. great actually that adds texture as well as um uh just kind of bland color okay i want carpet where can i find carpet here we go all right and we want kind of just a generic sort of carpeting Look at that. Oh, I love that so much. Oh, I love that so much. It's, it's, it feels like a basement, but it also feels kind of cozy. I love it. Okay, so now what we will do, yeah, no, let's have to stay outside. Okay, we will take this, throw it in our inventory. And we will take these, throw them in our inventory, throw them in our inventory. Take this, throw it in our inventory. Um, let's keep the room like it is for now, but let's get it ready for... So I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're actually going to put um, Dean in that room. Because, you know, he's the older brother. He deserves a bigger room. Um, then we'll probably put Sam in this room. And then Abby in this room. I think that's what we'll do here. Yes. Alright, so let's look for double beds. What kind of double bed is this? Hmm. 
than different colors. So this is going to be Abby's room. It doesn't really tell much many different colors. it. What kind of colors does this have? Okay, yeah, let's get you one of these as well. God, it's such a cramped room. I'm sorry, Abby. Alright. Yeah, let's give her that color. That works. And then let's look for more wallpaper again. Do we have any island living? No. Paint, wallpaper, wallpaper maybe? I don't know. I like this actually. Yeah, okay. And then let's look for wood paneling. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. All right, and then we'll change up the other two when we actually get all that sorted then. Oh, that is beautiful though. Okay, so let's go downstairs into the new basement so we can unload everything that we have here. Okay, so probably in the corner. There's really no good spot to put this. Because, I mean, from, like, an actual content creator standpoint, anywhere that he puts this, everything else is going to be in the room, basically. So unless he, like, puts it, like, right here, for example, or something like that, which I suppose isn't bad. Now the, the camera is basically getting this whole wall here. I kind of like that, actually. I don't know. Hold on a sec. Let's go up. What kind of chair is this? The boss executive chair. Okay. So this one must go there. Then this one must go... Let's put this right here, then. Oh, wait a minute. We were gonna... Ah, oh, frick. We were gonna put this in the uh, other room. It can go here for now. Whatever. Alright, and then... Let's just put these in here, I guess? I'm thinking we should probably make this kind of like the other one from season one. Where we have a TV on the wall as well. That's a 
getting TV. Oh, oh, tabletop TV. I see. Okay. Yeah, so let's just put this one in here. That works. That way they can watch TV while they work out. He can watch TV while he's working on videos and stuff. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with this area. Maybe turn it into a kid's area once we have more kids? I don't know. We'll figure it out. I am liking how this is turning out, though. I love Abby's new room. Oh, my God. As soon as Sam grows up, we need to make her room, like, way different. And then Dean, I mean, his room just needs to be dark and dreary, basically. There we go. Okay. So you come downstairs and work out on your new stuff. Awesome. <laughs> Beads. All right. Well, anyway, we are going over on time for this episode, so we are going to have to end it there. I apologize that most of it was just building, but this was just kind of uh, a whim, you know? It, it, it just felt right. <laughs> we, we need to make more room in this house. Because uh, sooner or later, Dean is going to grow up. He's going to have kids of his own. Uh, we're probably going to have to move some people out like, it, uh, like we did with uh, Crystal in Season 1. Because, I mean, this house... So, from what I have heard, apparently each uh, household can only have, I think it's like, eight members. And we're already at five. So, that's three more people. That's one spouse each. Meaning no more children. So, yeah. We are either going to have to kill some people off. Most likely Dean and uh, Summer. Or we're going to have to move some people out. And I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're probably going to move people out... And then every episode is going to basically focus on a new household, basically. I think that would work pretty well. Essentially, moving Abby out to the islands, uh, Sam to, what is that place, Glimbrook Hollow, Glimmerbrook Hollow, something like that, I don't know. And then Dean to whatever the vampire place is. Uh, and then basically a new episode focusing on each of them. I think that would be kind of fun. I think that would be really fun. Alright, but anyway, uh, I'm, I'm dragging on. Uh, like I said, that's going to have to be it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, then please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thank you, and have a great day, then. Goodbye.